Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, April 25th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Thursday is the NFL Draft. Each team's general manager or assistant general manager is required to meet with the media the week of the draft. Today, it was Bears assistant GM Ian Cunningham. Now, will the Bears draft look like my two-year-old grandson Ben's artwork? Or will we be singing the Bears' praises when everything concludes on Saturday? Well, he had a lot to say today, probably without saying a whole lot. But let me tell you the highlights of what Ian Cunningham had to say today. First of all, he said the Bears have six to eight players they would consider taking with the ninth overall pick. And that sounds about right because they've ruled out taking a quarterback, you would think, at that position. As for a potential trade back, the Bears will look at that on a case-by-case -case basis. Translated, you're damn right they'd like to trade back and get more picks. They have to have a willing trade partner. Best player available to draft versus filling a need with a draft pick. They need offensive linemen. They need defensive linemen. They could use another receiver. They could also use a cornerback. So where do you go? Well, he said, ultimately, you have so many needs that you're going to get the best player on the board and fill something that you would like to address. BPA, best player available. New York Jets GM Joe Douglas met the New York media today and was getting besieged with questions. Did you give up too much for Aaron Rodgers? He defended the high price to acquire a Hall of Fame quarterback, and he said, we feel really good that Aaron's going to want to play here. They do not believe this is a one-year and I'm retiring type commitment, but he said getting a guy like this is costly, and Aaron absolutely worth the price. Jets' odds to win the Super Bowl dropped from 28 to 1 eight weeks ago. Yours truly has a ticket on them. 28 to 1. My brother and I both played it. They are down to 12 to 1 today. Speaking of odds dropping, if you got up yesterday morning and decided you wanted to bet Will Levis to be the number one overall pick, he was 50 to 1. And then somebody went on Reddit and said that Will Levis is telling family and friends his inner circle, that he has already been told by Carolina he's going number one. Will Levis's odds to be the first pick down to two to one this afternoon. Do you believe it? We will find out. Baseball, White Sox at Blue Jays tonight. Cubs host the San Diego Padres with red hot Justin Steele on the bump. Cubs also made a couple roster moves today. Cody Bellinger is on the paternity list, his wife expecting any moment. And Nelson Velasquez, the outfielder, has been recalled from Class AAA Iowa. Tampa Bay is now 20-3 and 14-0 and and at home after pounding the Astros 8-3 last night. The 14-0 home start to their schedule is now an all-time modern-day Major League Baseball record. Lowry Markin has been awarded the NBA's Most Improved Player Award. And don't forget, I'll be live from Soldier Field right here on this channel. Thursday night starting at 6. Please subscribe and hit that bell for the notifications, and you'll get some amazing interviews with Bears players, coaches, and executives. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.